With the Deployed Women Project, it's a project that we're very excited about. And it really started because there's not a lot of evidence in Australia about what women bring to peace and security operations. And we really wanted to understand that a little bit more and understand how to actually successfully employ women in peace and security responses uh, in complex emergencies and conflicts. So we partnered with the University of Queensland uh, Institute for Social Science Research to conduct a very extensive project. So we've done 100 face-to-face -face interviews and a 250-person survey really looking at the perceptions of both men and women about what value having women on peace and security operations actually brings to the table and also how we can better support them both pre, during and after a deployment and get an understanding of how that maps onto Australia's societal views around gender norms and the role of women in society. So we've actually reached out to the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, the Australian Federal Police, the Australian Defence Force and also Defence Public Servants to really look and unpack their experiences from 1988 to 2014 to develop the first evidence base in Australia about what those unique characteristics women have that they actually can utilise on deployments. So the project will be delivered in the second half of 2017. And really it's divided into three areas. It's looking at that question around operational effectiveness. So if you have women on deployments, does it actually allow you to access broader sectors of society, get a different perspective on the impacts of the crisis and also what's needed to bring about stability and peace? And also, can it actually increase the security actions of a force? So things like having women in deployed teams might actually allow you to search women and ensure that your forces are also more secure. It will look at how women are supported before they go on deployments, what kinds of family support they receive, but also men in those circumstances, uh, how they're actually integrated into a deployment and how that works and how it's changed over time and also what kind of post-deployment psychological support do they actually receive when they return. So as we look towards conflicts like Iraq and Syria and the increasing complexity of the situations that we find ourselves in around the globe, being able to best utilise the skills and assets and decision-making qualities of our men and women in deployments and effectively support them and bring them together in integrated teams is one, thing, one way that we can support our agencies and our key stakeholders and improve Australia's actual responses overseas. So it's a very exciting project and I think it'll be a, a first, not just for Australia, but there's not a lot of evidence out there about these questions either.